Hello, folks. Hey, no fisherman back with you. Uh, today, I'm going to take you on a two-parter on Lake Monticello. Uh, the first day, we caught a few perch. The second day, and a couple bass. The second day, we caught just a mighty few perch. And we caught some nice largemouth. I'm going to show them to you. This is the second day. I'm going to release these right here on camera. But look at here. There's two beautiful bass right there on Lake Monticello. We caught them with, uh, and I'll show you on the video what we caught them on, but I'm going to show the fish to you before we run the show. Hey, appreciate all of you. Thanks for watching the Old Fisherman video. Hey, we got two right there, probably four pound a piece. We're going to chunk them back. Oh, yeah, they gone. Look at that, gone. And uh, I'm, I got a couple more back here. I'm going to throw back while we're throwing them back. We're fixing to go home. But hey, hope you enjoyed the show. That's two more. Hey, that's the catch of the day. Them, that's probably three pound a piece. Hey, we got some good fish. But we, they all alive and they all swimming off. And uh, hey, appreciate all of you for watching the old fisherman video. Hey, hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, hey, make sure you tell your friends about the old fisherman. And let's go fishing. I'm back with you on Lake Monticello. Cold morning this morning. Hey, but it's bright sunshine. Water's down. I'm thinking we're going to start about 47, 50 foot deep. Uh, we're going to slow move these jigs out here and see if we can locate us a bass. We had a jumbo bonanza day yesterday. All the bass but one went back. Uh, one of them wouldn't make it. Uh, so, but anyhow, hey, that was a thump right there and I missed it. We got a few fish down here. We're in a, a turn of a channel again, kind of down from where I was yesterday. We're checking another little area. And uh, and we're going to see if we can catch us some white perch, a bass, hopefully some big old bass oh, I got today. a bite. It took a while. And, uh, hey, had to move it real slow to catch it. Jumbo Magnum Perch, and he didn't want to bite, let me tell you. He did not want to bite. He hit the uh, three-inch uh, melon. Is what he hit. He already got a mess up out there. You see him? Put it on spot like a minute. There you go. He hit the metal real soft. Is what he hit. There you go. He thumped it. He thumped it good. He thumped it good. Little. That might be what the problem is. It's too little. I love what the problem is. The babies. That's probably what the problem is. We get on some bigger in a minute. Watch them looking around for the gulls, seeing the gull activity. I see some down the other end of the lake down here and I might need to go check out. That's a good bass area. Hey, yeah, uh, couldn't stand that, buddy. He nailed it. I done a little twitch, and he nailed it. A little bit better, but not still not the size we're looking for. Lonely fish. Now, isn't that blue? I don't think we got the right color on today. But that blue is obviously the right color. That's what I'm catching most of them on. I see fish all the time. I'm thinking they're just small. I need to be on the side of the point, not on top of the point. Let's go out here on the front of the point, where it drops off out, out, out from this 30 foot water. They ain't gonna catch me 30 foot. Not with the water low, not with this cold. They gonna be, that one's one bitty trolling. <laughs> hey, maybe the troll bass fetch it. Bass is up, suspended. I see the bass a big prey. And he hit trolling, believe it or not. I'm telling you, the big ones are always up. Big perch. Look at that. Look at that water perch. And they suspended in there. Hey, that's a jumbo magnum right there, buddy. Look at that. That is a big, big, big perch. Caught him on that big old three-inch Mardi Gras mena. Them big ones like that big jig. Now, I can tell you that right now. You troll that big jig across that, one will thump it. 
I'm thinking we need to take the two and a half, one of them two and a half, uh, eighth inch jigs off and put them up there, put a three inch up there. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, might be able to catch the bigger ones trolling. They might just be suspended. Drop back down. We're still in 35. I'm still on the point. Drop back down. Hey, maybe we ought to troll across that point. Hey, uh, got him that time. We got him that time. Hey, that's a good one. That's a bad. Uh, no, maybe it ain't. I ain't sure. Big old perch. Look at that one, a perch. My goodness. Huh? That is a monster perch on a doggone Mardi Gras minnow. A monster perch, pound and a quarter at least. Maybe more. One thing I ain't gonna do is weigh him. Them scales ain't no good. The jump. They lay in the boat too much, too much rain on them. I should have covered them up like this. Looney! Old Looney's all around me this morning. They must can't get no shad today. They all around me this morning. Looney! 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 There he is. Hit it going up. Pulling it up. He hit it. What I'm talking about, pulling it up, he hit it. Another big one. That's nine nah, big as the last one, but he's a nice one. Now he hit the blue. The big ones are hitting that dog on Mardi Gras, and the little ones are hitting the blue. Ain't nothing hitting this white dude. Nothing. I ain't caught nothing on it. It's kind of like creamy white with uh, blue specks on the top. They ain't like that. Looks like they want something with some brilliant colors on it. That's what it looks to me like. All right. Hey, catching a couple of nice ones. No bass yet, though. No excitement. I love them bass. What? I love them bass. That's excitement, but it's a, Hey, figured out how to do oh, it, mister. All we got to do is drop it down and go to ease the rod up real slow. No reeling, just real slow. Right now, since the weather got cold. That's that experience kicking in, people. There's the bottom. Let's see if we can catch one. Hey, yeah. See him thump it? I uh, eased it up. You've got to present it to him, easing it up right now. Hey, next time you come, you got to reel it up and catch it. Right now, that's a good one, too. You've got to present it to him, easing it up. That's a jumbo magnum. Look at that. Well, they ain't gonna bite it. They ain't wanting that big jig that good. Not right now. I need to change that white jig. I said that three times. I ain't done it yet. Hey, Looney! That joker's got some fire in his eyes. You ever look in the eyes of a loon, they look like looking into a fire pit. They red and evil looking. They look like the devil. I ain't too sure that ain't a devil in a bird fashion. Bird form. All right, let's see if we catch another. Looking at it, they just ain't taking it. They ain't taking it. We done got too shallow again. Got to get back out. It ain't but a very, about five foot, ten foot is about that five foot different in depth. That's what I'm trying to say. <coughs> All right, I'm going to give some slack. We're going to pull it back across them few. See what happens. See if we want to take it like that. <coughs> there he goes. What I tell you? Oh, he got on. I, I, there he goes again. Nothing hit him. Oh, darn it. Pop it back down and pull it again. See what happens. There he goes. That's a good one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, my. That is a big one. That's the biggest fish I had on Lake Monticello in a long time right there. He's squinting off line. He's squinting off line. That is a whopper. That is a big old bass right there. That is a super duper, unless I got two or three. All I can say is, that's a big one. That is a big one, people. That is a big one. 
Oh my, that is a big one. Lord have mercy. Unless I got him foul hooked, that is a super dog magnum right there, buddy. It's coming up, it's a bass. That might be my seven, eight pound, 10 pound bass right there. That is a big one, unless it's two. Oh my, that's a big one. What? The old fisherman's getting excited. Can't wait to see him. Oh Lord, Ned ain't out. Ned ain't out. Ned ain't out. Oh my, I'm getting excited. I can't wait to see this fish. Oh my, what a fish. What a fish. What a fish. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a wall hanger right here. Unless I'm lost my mind. Oh, I got two. No, he ain't as big as I thought he was. My God, that's a pulling fish. Huh? Oh, I had to. I had to. The other one's pulled down. That fish pulled like a 10 pound bass. And he ain't that big. He ain't even big as the ones I caught yesterday. I see what it is, though. I had two on. One of them got off. That joker, he's in hell. That doggone uh, top mental that I said they wasn't catching that, he inhaled it. Hey, two and an eighth inch mental, he inhaled it. But that fish, I had two on is what happened. That's why it felt so big at first. One of them got off. It didn't break off. One of them was on that blue jig underneath that one, and he got off. Look at him. Look at that water bass. That's good enough. though. That ain't no baby. Hey, that ain't no baby. And right there is the jig, the top jig right there, that little white looking jig, two and an eighth inch swimming minnow, got a little blue on it. That's the one he took. Can't lay my jigs in the water. If I lay my jigs in the water and walk back here to fix this live well, Looney might take my jigs and my rod. So I got to be careful there. Looney's sitting right there. And sometimes they'll snatch on them jigs thinking it's a minnow. Hey, we got to start live well. That's first bass of the day. I could have bet you anything I had. What it was, I had two bass on that at one time. And uh, what happened, it wasn't got off right before we got to the top. It lightened up some. When I first hooked them, it was two at one time. It was no doubt. Hey, it was no doubt. Well, I got to tell y'all, I had something happen yesterday. I'd run that live well all, all day to keep some fish going uh, alive. And uh, since I bought this boat, I hadn't, uh, only battery I've changed has been my trolling motor battery. And I've been thinking about it. I'm saying, you know, it liable to be the original batteries in this boat, 2011. And uh, sure enough, I went to crank the boat to leave yesterday. It went, yeah, yeah, boom, cranked right up. But it almost didn't. It, got, it drove the battery down so bad the fish finder went off. And uh, so we lost the fish finder with lack of power. I was one lucky devil. Oh, I see what happened. That other bass straightened the hook out. But I was one lucky devil with that motor yesterday that it cranked and was able to get back to the landing so I had to go get me another battery yesterday evening. That other fish straightened the hook out is what happened. That's exactly what happened. And, and the big one almost, the one I caught almost straightened the hook out. Hey, let's drop it back down so we get Got another jig on, drop back out and the first drop before I even turn the phone or the camera on, another bass nailed it. The first drop, I think it's a bass. Yeah, I don't know. If it ain't a bass, it's a big perch. Oh, it's a perch in the belly. Oh, it's two perch. Okay, two perch. My new dog going well, something hit it hard. We put another color, put a three inch uh, uh, June bug color uh, in Chartreuse tail on the, on the second jig. And we put a blue Chartreuse, blue ice and chartreuse on the top jig. Took that white one off. Come on, man. Drop back down. Across the lake, and unfortunately, it's a boat sitting over there about 100 yards, so I'm going to not talk too loud, but I just caught a big white perch. 
I just have another bite. I think we got some done. I think they're on this side of the lake today. And uh, hey, he's gonna catch them. I don't know what he's fishing for. If he's fishing for a catfish or perch, this perch over here. There he is. There he is. There's some good ones in here. There's some good ones in here. There's some jumbos in here. I mean, jumbos. Big old jokers. I'll back out so we get another. Donnie's over here aggravating us. We're at 43 foot and we got plenty of fish on us. There he goes. There he goes. That's a nice one. See what he's on. That's a good one. He's on the blue. We got to get rid of them doggone white colors. They don't want white. We put it on spotlight. We're gonna put some. We're gonna put the other colors back on. Bear with me a second. New jigs put on. We're gonna drop it back to the bottom. See what happens. Yeah, got him that time. He got him that time. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a real good one. I think we just got to put them in a feed. Nice one, too. Hit that blue. Want that doggone blue and short trees? Hit the blue and short trees. What are they hitting? I wish that boat wasn't there, but hey, he was there first. I ain't that close to him, but I hate to shout. You know? We're gonna try to hold it down. See if we can get him there. Hey, you know, hey, we own them, and they good ones. They real good ones. I don't know how many we got right there, but that's a jumbo magnum is what it is. That is a big one. I mean, a big one. They're hitting the blue. They definitely want the blue. They want that dog on blue jig right there. We got a blue one. A blue one. Uh, they got a jig on. They ain't touching it. They ain't touching it. And they ain't touching the Mardi Gras either. Hey, drop back out. We got a bunch of them stirring up under us now. We got the bone daddy rod. Change jig colors. And we're catching a couple now. Got three at a time right here. Big old monocella slabs. Look at him. Huh? Look at him. Look at him. Three at a time. What? Oh, there's a monster right there. That is a monster perch right there, buddy. That's a pound and a half. Of... That, my friend, is a pound and a half. Of... Look at that. That's a big one, ain't it? Okay. The other two's big, too, but they ain't that big. Ain't as big as that one. Change the bone daddy rods, different colored jigs, and uh, hey, it's starting to bite. All three of them nice ones. Maybe we get them stirred up. Maybe we get them stirred up. We moved back where we started this morning, dropped out, and boom, got a bite right off the bat. Jumbo Magnum on the green. They won't, they won't hit the green out there where I was at a while ago, but they'll hit it back in here. So different areas of the lake, they'll hit different things. You got to get the area they're feeding in. Got a little wind blowing in here, and this is where we're gonna fish for the next 30 minutes or so, and then we're going home. We've uh, got a good mess of fish, probably got 30, but we ain't got but one bass. I've caught a good many off camera. Uh, but anyhow, hey, let's see if we can catch a couple here before we go home. There he goes. Hey, there he goes. They, maybe they biting back in here. That's why I left them this morning. It was fish here, but they didn't want to bite. Maybe they're biting now. Jumbo made them, and they're hitting that doggone Mardi Gras. What are they doing? They're hitting the Mardi Gras. Coffee to the bottom with a big boy's life.
make Monticello loving life. Hey, some days are better than others, but we always loving life. We own the water. See, we can get a nothing right quick. Hey, they might bite at here now. Who knows? You never know with these jokers. Get the boat a slant, see if we can work it around here. There he goes. There he goes. They wanted that slant. They wanted that slant. That's a good one. That is a good one. There ain't no bass, though. It's a perch. Nice perch. Every one of them's on that doggone Mardi Gras three inch minnow back in here. I believe the shad that they're feeding on back in this creek is bigger than the shad out there in the middle of that lake. Seems like the couple I caught out in the middle of the lake was hitting smaller jigs. What I think is happening. Did we catch nothing? Lake Monticello, South Carolina. There was a lot of fish out there in the middle of the lake where I was just at. They were not, they was not feeding. Caught a couple and that was it. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. I don't know what kind of he is. Uh-oh. Something just got off, I think. Big old perch is what it is. Hooked inside up under the mouth is what it is. He, he kind of got it on the edge of his mouth. He just pulled it hard. But I ain't too sure one didn't get off because it felt like one might have got off. What it felt like. Here's the bottom, okay? Up there he is. He nailed it. They want it winding up now. There was some good fish out there. There was good fish pulling like that. Be curious to see if we got him on the inch and a half. No, we got him on the big middle. The big three inch. That's a fine, fine perch. Good one. We got him on the three inch Mardi Gras. I don't like them real pretty day fishing, do you? Hey. There he goes. Hey, we own some now. Back in this doggone creek. That's good one. That's a good one. Joker's pulling now. That'd be boom daddy rod right, if be bent all the way over. Oh, we got him on the inch and a half Mardi Gras. How about that? Caught him on the inch and a half Mardi Gras. Look at that nice perch, too. We ain't catching nothing on the blue. The Mardi Gras catching them all. Right now, what now, Chanda? Blue was catching them right there. It's funny. That's why you like to fish. I like to fish with different colors at the same time. They allow to change from spot to spot where they, what they want. Got some good fish right in here. Some good fish in here. The world's done half. There he goes. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a bass. That's a bass. That, my friend, is a bass. I was wondering where, the, where they at. He hit it up, too. He come up and got it. Ain't no big bass. Small bass. Ain't no big bass. Look at that. Little pound and a half. Huh. Little pound and a half. Hit that doggone minnow, though. Hey, he hit that minnow. He thought he had him a, a meal. But he didn't. Huh? Oh, pound and a half. Look at that. Huh? Let's throw him back. Boy, he's happy to go home. Nothing. Nothing. We got fish down there, too. Probably some more bass in there. Get on out here a little deeper. Might be where we need to be. A little deeper. There he goes. Oh yeah, another bass. Thought it was starting to look like bass down there. If it is, he ain't a big bass, but it's a bass. I don't think, I don't think it's a nice, he's a big one. This bass. Yep, another one of them. Not that, a little bit bigger. 
Dad, that's a keeper. Hey, that's a keeper. We're gonna put him in the live well. Hey, maybe the bass start biting now. That's about a pound and three quarters. Let me measure him. See that? Hey, he ain't that bad. That's a good eating size if you like bass. Oh, he's seven, let's see, 15 inches. All right. I got my little glue on my top of my ice chest back there. Built into the ice chest. Hi. Drop it to the bottom with a big boy. Don't y'all love me saying that? I know you're tired of it, probably. You're probably tired of it, but hey, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna say it, I gotta have it now. I got the habit of saying it now. Can't quit now. All right, this is what we do. Nothing. What we gonna do? Nothing. Up back down. Do the circle swing. The Cumberlander circle swing. All right, there's the bottom. Let's see if we get a fish. Hmm, already got one right there. That was a good pull. They ain't eating it up, buddy. I'm gonna have to work for these fish. Big time. Big time work for them. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes, old big perch. Medium sized fur. That doggone big metal. What they want? That's big metal. Go get him, big metal. We caught one on the inch and a half, though. Everything else on the three inch. They ain't nothing on the two and a half right now. All right. Hey, well, at least we're getting a couple bites. As long as I can get a bite ever so often, about every five pulls. I'm happy. I really get one every pull, but about every five pull, I get a bite, I'm happy. Hey, golly, I missed him. He nailed it. Oh, he nailed it. <sighs> Boy, this fishing something. It's the challenge I love. It's the challenge of figuring it and winning, you know? Figuring them out every day is different and winning when you figure them out. It, it's, a, it's such a pleasure to figure them out. Well, I'm going across the water with a doggone perch in his mouth. On where he got him from, other loons asked him. He must have caught that one on his own. I ain't do but one back, that was earlier. Oh, what happened? He must have caught him on his own. All right. Let's see what we can do. I know there's some more fish down here somewhere to catch. Some more bass out of the cat. I don't see them right now on the fish finder, though. They might be out a little deeper in the channel. We're on 43 foot. We might go out a little deeper and see what happens. Hey, we ain't got nothing to lose. A little bit of time. There he goes. There he goes, a little deeper. He nailed it. He nailed it. Oh my, that's a nice perch right there. If that's a perch, that's a nice perch. I think it is. Pulling like one, yes sir. On the dog on two and a eighth inch minute. Huh, what? Do it, little minute. Hey, three quarter pound, that's nice. Anything three-quarter pounds nice when it comes to a perch. I'll tell you that right now. When it comes to a perch, ain't, ain't nothing on three-quarter pound. There he is. Got him that time. We got him that time. They want that slant, what they want, buddy. Today. I mean a big slant. 
still little though. That's what they are, the small fish. That's why I'm missing them. Small fish. Looks like they be hitting that an inch and a half, but they ain't. I'm thinking the shad's a little bit bigger than that inch and a half. Inch and a half ain't, ain't doing what it needs to be doing now. I'm thinking that two and a eighth and the three inch minnow is the way to go now, both of them. That might change though. They is. Hey, they want, uh, we don't figure it out now. They want that slant and that jig's getting up a little bit before he hits it. That's a good fish right there. That's a jumbo. That's the kind you read about in Perch Magazine right there. That is a big one. And he hit that doggone big old manna, them big old perch like that big old manna, and that's all there is to it. Hey, y'all see it? Look how he sucked it down. He sucked it down. That's a good fish right there. Ever wanted to catch on that doggone manna on that three inch uh, Mardi Gras? It's a good fish. I can tell you that now. You don't catch no babies on here. He can't get it in his mouth. Folks, got another no. Don't know how big he is, he's a white perch. He's a good size one. He's a good size one. Moved out to where we caught the fish yesterday and uh, I looked deeper. Seeing some down there, but they don't have one. I had a couple of bumps. See if we can get them to bite. There you go. One hit it. They ain't taking it. Starting off with that bumping and missing. That's what they're doing. There's plenty of them down there. There you go. Let's see what we got him on. Let's see what we got him on. Finally got one. There's a bunch of them down there now. Nice ones, too. Hey. We got him on the doggone Mardi Gras. Swearing metal. What we got him on. That's what we got him on. Drop back down. We got a bunch of them down there. There's a bunch of them down there. It'll be a pretty day. There'll be a lot of people out here today, I'm sure. See a boat coming right behind you. See if we can get another bite. Trade up and down, they don't want it. Yep, I don't know, he hit it. He hit it. Up high, he hit it. <coughs> Got him on the top, blue jig. They don't want that old beaver tail jig. They want the uh, slider jig. I don't like catching with the butt. That's a bass. That's a bass. That's a big bass. That's a big bass. I tell you, it's just a matter of time, them old bass take it now. Hey, hey, he's going with it. That's a big fish right there. That's another monster. I can tell you that right now. That is a good one. What? They're going spotlight. He's coming up. He's coming up. Oh, my. Who's coming up? That's a good fish right there, boys. Coming up, spit it out. Back up under the boat. Oh, Lord, he's on the other side of the boat. He's on the back side of the boat. Good gracious. Oh my. He tried He tried to spit it, he come out of the water. I heard him, I couldn't see him on the back side. That's a good fish. That's why I keep liking, I like fishing this jig. Cause you never know when that bass gonna nail that thing, buddy. I mean, you never know, that's any plug, but I'm telling you, his old big nice Lord's mouth, killing that dog on Mardi Gras money. Look at him, look at what I just caught. Four pounds, or better, or better. And what we get him on, same old, same old. Same old, same old. You see it, the Mardi Gras metal. What, look at that. Hey, that is a fine fish right there, people. That is a fine, fine bass. Hey, he hit that Mardi Gras though. what he hit? Well, we've been catching some beautiful bass, now I'll tell you that right now. 
Can't beat that Mardi Gras three inch minnow. Look at that. Huh? Four pounds. Fisherman's got faith that's in what pounds. he's doing. And that's what it takes. Faith in what you're doing. Better tighten up on my drag. I loosen that drag up when them big, big bass go to surge and you never know when they break off. So I gotta have it tight enough to set the hook. So what I do is I loosen it up as I'm bringing the fish up if he goes to pulling hard. And then I'll tighten it back down for the next time where I can set the hook. If you don't, you're gonna get penetration of that, uh, that hook in his mouth at this depth of water. I cannot believe I ain't had another bite. Oh, we got the boats piling in over there now. Double boats coming. One right after another. Beautiful day. Everybody comes out in pretty weather. And that ain't necessarily the best day to bite that they bite. But hey, we catching a few right now. We catching a few right now. That's the perch, I believe. Jumbo Magnum on that same darn Mardi Gras. I tell you, buddy, they love that Mardi Gras. Let's drop back down. I love this kind of fishing. Operating the boat is the key uh, to maybe that 45 or a little bit longer. The speed and all that, you got to get down pat daily, hourly. You got to keep changing until you find out what they what they want and how they hit it. And uh, that's what I do the best. See, they following it up. They all down there, but they ain't eating it up. Boom Daddy got one. Oh, Boom Daddy Rod done picked up a perch. Boom Daddy. Nice one, too. Look at that one a perch. Got him on the doggone uh, Tennessee shad color. Actually, that's a cream and green. That ain't Tennessee shad. It looks a lot like Tennessee shad. It's got green on the back. Tennessee shad got black. See when you get another. That was a good one. Pulled out in the middle of the lake out here on a hunt, and I just got a bite. Uh, don't know how many is out here, but we got one. A nice one, too, on the blue jig. On the blue jig. I tell you, if you ain't fishing 50 foot deep, you ain't deep enough. That simple. Move across the cove. Hey, the fish are not biting. Uh, and I caught, I just caught two. I'm turning on the camera. Let's see if we catch another one. They just ain't biting. We got to get them going. We got to find them and make them start biting. And we just caught two, so maybe they'll start a little bit. Every time I see them turn on the camera, they quit. Old Looney don't even know what's going on. Looney's sitting there waiting for a fish. Slow so far. Tell you right now, buddy, you got to figure these jokes out every day. There you go. There you go. Every day you got to figure them out. Get them going, and then you catch them. Stir them up. Stir in the pot. Every day you got to do this. If you're just drifting along, not working an area, you ain't got a lot of chance to stir in the pot. And if they be eating it up, that drifting along is fine. But when they ain't biting, that ain't so fine. You got to sit on top of them to get them to bite and hold it there. Until we catch a couple of them, that's, that's three right there, right quick. So, hey, that's a good sign. See if we get another. And they hit it swimming it up. They didn't hit it uh, jiggling or nothing. I see a few down there. We can get Looney out of the way. Looney's hungry. Got any, don't have any gulls diving this morning. So that's a bad sign right there. Fish ain't feet. There you go. Oh, we're going, I missed him. He nailed it. I just missed him. Pulled my jig down, too. Pull that white one down. Tennessee shad color I stuck on, huh? He hit it, though. All right, let's put it back out. I like these bigger jigs because it seems to catch the bigger fish. You go to little jigs, you catch a lot of little ones. I don't want the little ones. I don't even want to hook the little ones. So a lot of them bumps that I'm missing is little ones probably. All I can do is guess. I can't see down there. But I can feel things happening. I can feel it when what I need to do to make a change. 
All that comes with experience and fishing. On those tough days is when a good fisherman comes out and figures them out. And hey, all these days is pretty tough. Unless it's miserable weather and they eating it up. These pretty days are tough. You got to make them bite. You got to keep you out here in the middle of the lake, spin around in circles to make a bass bite. That's what we do. We got a bass on. Had to make him bite. Look at him. Yeah. Nice one, too. Look at that. Had to make him bite. He didn't want to bite. Go spin around circles. And he, he bit the two and an eighth inch. Swimming, tri, uh, double action, true swimming money by saliva. Is what he bit. He about two pounds. I couldn't get him to bite, and I sent him down there, so I just started spinning the boat in a circle. And, uh, hey, you see what we just caught? Look at that. Spinning in a circle. They sure don't want it fast. You better leave it in the same area. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hit it again. Another bass. Big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Hey, it's all about this boat, I'm telling you. Big bass. Big bass. That's a big one. That is a big one. It's circling around 55 foot of water. That bass hit. That's a big one. That is a good one. That is a good one. I'm telling you right now, that's a big fish. That might be more than one. That might be two fish. That's a good one, I'll tell you that. That is a good one. That's a jumbo magnum. What? Great day. If that's a bass and he's hooked in the mouth, that's a good one. I don't know what I got, but I can tell you this. He pulling. Might be a catfish. These are big bass or two bass. Or a catfish and a bass. I don't know what I got. Hey, probably a catfish. How about a bass and a perch? How about a big old bass and a big old perch? Huh? How about that? Y'all see it? Oh, Lord, I got a cramp in my leg. Oh, God. Old Fisherman got a cramp in his leg. Hey, old legs ain't good. I got to say it here with a cramp with a big old fish in the net. Hey, we got to put it on spot lock. I don't want to lose my spot. <laughs> Y'all pardon me. You ever get a cramp in your thigh? Well, I got one. I got a bass in the net, too, I'll tell you that. I got a cramp in the thigh and a bass in the net. Mm. I don't even think I can stand up. Oh, Lord. Look at him. Look at him, what the old fisherman just caught. A jumbo magnum bass. If I can get this perch up here, I'm going to pick him up. Look at that. Look what we just caught. A jumbo magnum bass and a jumbo magnum perch at the same time. Hey. On what? The Mardi Gras. Three inch slider jig. I believe I got my camera a little high today. I hope not. I hope y'all can see me catch that fish. Huh. Another jumbo magnum. I can tell you that much. Another jumbo magnum. That perch is nice too, but right now I can't hold a handle. Get this cramp out of my leg where I can walk. Hey, look at that. We a little bit high with that camera. I don't want something to happen. Excuse me. Gotta come down a little bit. Huh. Might have couldn't even see me catch that fish. Look at that. Look at that, what a jumbo magnum. That is a beauty, ain't it? About five pounds. Huh. About five pounds. Pull over here, start doing the circle again. And another bass took it. Show us the world. Another bass. Nice one. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. He nailed it too, buddy. He nailed that juice. Huh? Come in here, boy. Hey, Charlie Brewer swimming double action minna. Two and eight. Got that bass. And he absolutely creamed it. Huh? He creamed it. 
We just caught a perch off camera. And uh, I moved over to a place I never fished before. Just started trying to search some new area. And you see what we just caught. Look at that. He's a beauty. Another three and a half pounder. Hey, that's uh, number four. That's number four bass. We had to work for them though. Let me tell you, it ain't nothing easy today. Got low water conditions, bright sun shining. Oh, and they really ain't feeding. I'm making these jokers bite. What few I'm catching. But anyhow, let's drop back out and see if we get another. It might be, I never fished here. I was going in, to, it's like a drop, and I'm just working the drop, 45 foot deep. And I see a couple fish. I just caught a perch. And that neck creamed it, it kind of reeled it up sideways. Playing it. He creamed it. He knocked the devil out of it. There might be some more down there. We do that circle swing, we might catch another fish. That's what I'm thinking. What we can do. Never know. Might not be one gonna bite, and again, you might get in a nest of them. There's some fish down there. It was a perch in there first a bit, and then the old bass bit. The bass bit kind of up. Well, he bit. I believe it's some more fish down there. I'm seeing a few fish on the bottom. If we get the right slant, we might catch another. There you go. There you go. What I'm talking about? Get that right slant. That's a perch. There ain't no bass there. That's a perch. But hey, he bit that big old jig. He bit that big old jig. I'll back out and get another one. I believe there's something in here. I've never ever fished here before, so a new spot. Ever so often I'll take some time out in the day and just fish areas that's new. Hey, that's the way you find new areas. Dedicate an hour or so fishing something new, something you never sent and fished. And this is one of them. I was fixing to go home, I said, I'm gonna go over here and fish the edge of this, this little drop over here, because I never fished here, never. And uh, hey, you see what we just caught? Two perch and a bear. That's nothing. That's nothing. Hey, I believe we done found something now. That, that was good. I believe we done found something. We done found another hole. Show us the world. Look at that jumbo magnum. Huh? Jumbo magnum. Here we are, and that's where you find places for uh, You got the experiment. And I see some more. Come up there, 46 foot of water. 46, and some more come up. So it's plenty of them in here. Hey, we done got a new spot. We done got a new spot. I love finding a new spot. Don't y'all know I do. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. Hey, you know it's another bass laying in here somewhere, probably some old perch. Can't keep the same angle. You got to spin this boat, and make them bite because it's slick, calm, bright condition. The more it's supposed to get rainy. The more I probably go to Lake Murray. I don't know yet. Make up my mind in the morning. Hey, look at oh god, got off. That was a big fish. That was a bass, I believe. I stuck him for a little bit, and uh, hey, you know, straighten out my darn hook. That's what I did. That hook straight down. I must have not the last bass I caught. I didn't re-bend it back down. Hey, it was straight. That's why I missed that fish. We get another, hopefully. 45. Let's stir them up. Let's stir them up. What y'all say? I said I was going to Lake Murray on Friday. I don't know. And I definitely ain't coming over here on Saturday. So, might not even fish Saturday. I don't know. There they go. There you go. Another nut hit it. That's a bass. Another bass. Another bass. 
I think. Might be a big perch. No, that's a bass. That's a bass. Definitely another bass that come up and nail that thing. What? Uh, oh, my. Old fisherman got a good one on right here. Huh? A good one. Oh, my goodness. I mean a good one. Huh? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? Laying it to him. He hit the, the blue and chartreuse jig up high. Huh? Swimming mellow. There's another three and a half pounder. Swimming mellow. What? We got them going on down here now. We got them going on down here now. Huh? Hey, let's drop it to the bottom where the pig boy is left. What y'all say? Let's drop it to the bottom. 45 foot. Them jokers are stacked in here like stove. New place. <laughs> oh my goodness. How many new places out here I hadn't fished? You know. Where I haven't fished is in tight, and that's where a lot of these bass are. In tight to the bank on the drops. And uh, I haven't fished a lot of that kind of stuff, and that's kind of what this is. Off the edge of that uh, deep channel out there. Then they kind of sandwiched in here and laying around, waiting to feed them. And we're gonna put something down there they like. I hope. Call a swimming minnow and a and a bass jig from a slider jig. But they won't hit it straight up and down there. I'm telling you right now, this fish down there looking at right there, they ain't hitting it. We got to spin this boat. We got to maneuver this boat to make them bite. Pull this thing up a little bit and let it bring it up slant. Kind of like a good flutter spoon for the stripers. There is. What I tell you. Huh? What I tell you. Huh? What I tell you. That might be a perch there. I don't know. It might be a bass. That's another bass. That's another bass. That's another bass. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Another bass. Huh? Another bass. Oh, my. Another bass. Hey, you're killing them. That never about a pound and three quarters. Two pounds.